Hello Gemini and welcome to your November reading. How was your October? Hope it was good. Well, we're going to have a look at what's in store for you this November. And where has the year gone? I can't believe we're at the end of the year almost. However, uh, just before I go on to doing your readings, I would just like to say a massive thank you to everybody who has shared and liked and commented. Thank you for your wonderful, kind feedback. And um, we just keep on growing, growing this channel. So if you can share, that would be amazing. And um, I'm going to do a special offer this month and I'm going to offer readings at £20 for 20 minutes UK money sterling. If you're in another country and want a reading, then um, just email me anskoles2 at gmail.com. The email address will be below and we can work out a time and um, a, the currency exchange rates uh, when you email. So... But first, let's have a look and see what's in store for you. I'm going to pull a card. Well, actually, one thing before I do, because this is the final clearing, I want you to just sit back, relax, as long as you're not driving. And I'm just going to clear the energy in the space and ask all the guides and angels to bring through the wonderful guidance for Gemini for November. Right, let's have a look and see. Spirit Oracle, what messages, oops, what messages, no, oh, that jumped into. That definitely wants to go. Message for you there. Right, and on the tarot, what message and guidance do we have for our lovely Gemini for the month of November? And an angel card to finish off this little reading. Nice guidance for you. Let's pop that there. Right, okay, what do we have for you here? The journey. Ooh. Let's have a look. There it is. We go through different um, parts of our journey in life. But with this one, it's actually it's pulling this card. It's saying you are actually soaring to new heights. It's encouraging you to experiment and to play because it's safe um, and allow your spirit, your free spirit, to explore new and exciting possibilities for your life. Follow the rainbow over the horizon to the pot of gold that awaits. So for me, with rainbows, I, I also feel this is all about healing as well. And it's also about all those beautiful colours in the rainbow, all the colours that flow through you. And again, a rainbow always appears after a rainy day. So certainly bright times and reaching new heights with this card. So that's what we've got for you there. So what advice is the tarot giving us in this month of November? Okay, <clears throat> first card, karma. And it shows three people uh, all bound at the waist there together looking at the eclipse. Now, this could be that you have felt that you have missed out on something or in general you know life's passed me by and i haven't been able to achieve something i've always wanted to achieve but it's a very very spiritual card and it's also showing the people around you are meant to be around you that lovely soul traveler connection going on here so let's have a look and see what it is that's going on. Here we've got the two of pentacles which is all about juggling things around. Maybe you have been finding yourself trying to juggle work, children, uh, finances, um, just all sorts of different things. But where we may have missed out on something, this is sort of the card before things start to come good. 
because in the background here there's um i would say choppy seas and the, and the ship is sailing away so whatever has gone on um with you this is all sailing away from you and we're just getting things into the right place and the right balance because they're not that far out on alignment are they those pentacles and the number eight that is around it is the infinity card reminding us that we are infinite in our possibilities and our spiritual wisdom so let's have a look and see what else we've got going on here oh your card your card the gemini the queen of swords and this is uh, a wonderful lady who the queen sits on a throne but she is always fair and just she yields the sword of truth honesty and it might be that you are having to be quite um honest with yourself you've been juggling things around here that um there's only so much you can do so on one aspect i feel as if you are being are having to be honest with yourself where am i what am i what you know what can i achieve am i taking on too much that kind of thing on another level it could be that you are having to stand up for yourself stand up for what you want but you're doing it in the, a very fair and honest way and usually with this because she's a very sharp quick thinking lady she gets what she wants so let's have a look and see oh look at that isn't that nice the sun card so for this month this is all about again the growth I and mean, we did talk about that didn't we in the first card soaring to new heights with the journey and the sun shining on you and you see the sunflowers and how quickly sunflowers grow so how quickly when you concentrate your energy and you focus things start to happen and manifest and grow and the sun shining in the sky there is the inner child and having fun and, and as i say playing out um like a child does um and we think we said play didn't we experiment and play on the other card so this is all a wonderful wonderful time so it shows that maybe if you've not been having such a good time of it and trying to balance and juggle things and tell people where you know where everything should be and organize everything this is going to come together for you because this is certainly um, a wonderful card for everything going right at last um, so yes this is a card it's also about your inner child your solar plexus and connecting with your inner child so that you do allow yourself some time to play and sometimes when we're juggling like i said house and work and friends we don't always have time to go out and play or look after ourselves this card reminds us to look after ourselves and then we have the prince of cups so what is being offered to you gemini this month well something you certainly worked hard for something that you wanted something um if it's to do with work it could be the prospects of a new job anything like that change and upgrade in your career it could even be emotions cups are emotions but it could be that somebody's opening up to you somebody's telling you how they feel and i always feel when people do that they're they're entrusting you with their innermost um thoughts and feelings and if you're in a relationship i would say that if you've had a little bit of a difficult time this shows that you win through gemini it shows that you have persevered and you found the balance to bring something in for yourself so an offer here i'm just going to pull one more card just to throw a little bit of light on what is being offered more i have another two cards yeah right so following on from that we've got again um an offer coming in but this is consider your options there are always options and there are several here with this card you may have become a little bit disillusioned with something but this is saying look your options are there so when that offer comes in have a look round and put it into perspective comparisons that kind of thing to make it come good for you and then we have yes the communication coming through for you which is what you are 
Gemini's are ruled by Mercury, so that's all about communication. This is the strength, the ideas, and letting go of anything that you're bringing with you from the past and creating and forging forward in a new pathway. So, the Ace of Swords, communication. If some of you are in a relationship, um, I would say someone who is opening up to you is going to talk to you even more, talk about their ideas, what they see for the two of you moving forward into the future. So it all looks pretty good to me. Let's have a look and see what we've got. <laughs> your angel. This month your angel says believe Gemini, <clears throat> believe in yourself, okay? Yes, we can believe in others, but more importantly, how often do we believe in ourselves? You just need to believe that you are strong and that you are capable of infinite things. The angel of belief brings this message to you for the month of November. So, have a wonderful November. There's more information in the drop box below. Just click on the link and this, oh, everything will be in there for you. Have a wonderful November and I will see you all very soon. Lots of love. Mwah.